Racetrack Wrestling with Kevin Ward, head coach at Army. How are you feeling about the season so far? Good things so right now? Yeah, I mean, it's been a good start to the season for us. This tournament, uh, the Midlands Championships, has been uh, largely uh, a good performance for us. Some, some, you know, some highs and lows, but overall, we're a team with a lot of potential. We're a really good team, and when we start firing on all cylinders and everybody's wrestling really well at the same time, I think we're a team that can make a lot of noise. What kind of things go into the type of competitions you want? Well, I mean, you know, some of that's set for us. You know, we're in a really tough league with the EIWA, and we try to get as many EIWA opponents as we can. Uh, with 17 schools, it's impossible to hit them all, but uh, we want really tough competition. We try to schedule as tough a competition as we can, knowing that we have team full of guys that are capable of competing really well at the NCAA championships, so we want to get them prepared, and I believe competition uh, plays a big part in, in preparing you to be your best at the end of the year, so we look at trying to get the best competition that we can. Do you use the other academies as a benchmark? No, um, and I don't mean that you know as a negative way towards anybody else, but I think you know what we use as a, as a benchmark would be what we think our program goals are, you know, and right now that's win a trophy at the IWA tournaments and 10 guys to the NCAA championships. That's their benchmark for us. That's what our goals are. Our goals don't revolve necessarily around any other school or any other program. So for us, it's about measuring ourselves and relation uh, and where we are in, in relation to where we want to be and, and the type of program we know we can become. But the Navy duel is still big. It's a big duel meet. There's no question. We're really fortunate to, to be able to participate in a rivalry that means so much. It's super intense. It's my favorite dual meet I've ever been a part of. I look forward to it every year, but it's not, you know, what our season revolves around. It's not, it means a lot to us and to our program, but it's it's not, you know, the entire season wrapped up in one night. So, um, but no, it's no question about it. It's an exciting dual meet. Explain what it's like when you're in that domain. So um, the best way to describe it is it, explain it as an institutional rivalry. It's not like it's one wrestling program versus another. I mean, it's an entire school versus another school in whatever sport we're competing in. You know, ours is wrestling, which is probably the most intense of all sports. Um, so. It, it's just an extra layer of, we know that match means a whole lot, not just to the guys on the mat, but to the guys that were on that mat years ago uh, and that are watching from literally anywhere around the globe. So it's just a dual meet that means a lot. We know that winning it is very important um, and we feel fortunate to be able to, to uh, participate in it. How close were you not to being a coach at some point? Because I think you had a, another profession working on oil fields or Yeah, something. no, I wasn't, it wasn't close. I mean, I was completely not a coach for a while. Um, so I spent about two years, two and a half years outside of the sport of wrestling. I was working in the oil and gas industry, about a year of it working in the field, like actually um, on location out in the oil fields, and, and about a year and a half working in a corporate office in Oklahoma City. Um, but um, two and a half years was enough for me to realize that uh, wrestling is, is where I wanted to be and pursue the passions that I had, which is you know, really trying to, to get better every day, make an impact on other people's lives. So um, I wasn't just close to not being a wrestling coach. I wasn't a wrestling coach for several years. And then just, man, a pretty incredible um, stroke of good fortune to get back into the sport. And, you know, never could have thought I'd be where I am today, but sure grateful for it. How do you define wrestling success? So, um, I mean, winning, obviously, but that's a simple answer because everybody wants to win. Um, it's a really good question. I think about it a lot. I think success for me personally and success for what I hope success is for each of the, the guys on our team is just knowing that they reach, they, knowing that they did everything that they could to reach their full potential, both their human potential and their athletic potential. Winning is awesome. We all strive to do it. No one works as hard as we do because they want to lose. Um, but for me, true success means a little bit more than just whether or not you got your hand raised at the end of the match. We talk a lot at track wrestling about it's not an official wrestling tournament unless Ned Chuck is there. He's your assistant coach. Yeah. What does he bring to the program? He's associate head coach. Uh, man, the guy brings leadership. He brings experience. He, he's a wealth of wrestling knowledge. He's got like a blue collar work ethic and mentality of for what he loves his job, so I don't think he considers it working, but he works incredibly hard. Um, he's a loyal guy and, and just um, he's a coach that has the best interest of the team and each individual on the team at heart. And, uh, you know, I trust him to take care of our program 100%. He brings 
I, I can't tell you, you know, in one interview what all he brings to the program. I can just say he's had an incredible impact, and we're sure fortunate to have him. Another guy like Ben Harvey. Talk about him and what he brings. Man, so Ben, you know, he's a, he's basically a fifth-year senior with us. Um, people, people see him compete, know that he wrestles really hard, and, and, and they know that he competes hard. But what they don't see is just how consistently he works incredibly hard day in and day out. You know, he's like a 3.7, 3.8, something like that at West Point, which is incredible accomplishment by itself. And then, you know, to compete the way he has in the top 12 of the NCAA tournament the past two years, always ranked inside the top 15 in the country. Um, he brings leadership by example. It, it, if you just follow what he does, it would be impossible to not be successful. He is always working on something, whether it's his wrestling or his schoolwork. Um, the guy is consistently the hardest worker, one of the hardest workers I've ever been around, just in everything that he does. So he sets a great example. He loves the sport. I don't think it's work for him. He really enjoys it. So he's just, he's been a lot of fun to coach. I can't remember. Did you ever take down John Smith at Oklahoma State? Oh, God. I mean, I don't know. Um, I can say I have. Can I? You're not going to show John, are you? <laughs> um, no, I'm probably like probably 0 for a couple hundred in, in takedowns against him. Maybe I got one after time expired at some point. But, man, he's the greatest of all time. There's not many people that have taken him down and, and uh, can tell the stories about it. So um, I'm not too proud to admit, no, I probably didn't get very many takedowns. I probably didn't get very many escapes either. Um, no, he's, he's one of the greats, and um, I'm glad he was my coach, but I don't think I scored on him a whole lot. Kevin Ward, thanks for the time. Hey, thanks, Kyle.